My name is Lars White. I'm the Fire Chief Emergency Management Director for the City of Oviedo and I appreciate this opportunity to share our emergency management practices for our community. We apply a, a community-wide approach when it comes to disaster management. One of the first things we look at is what is the real threat of disasters for the Oviedo community. The first thing that usually comes to mind is severe weather related disaster. We live in the lightning capital of the world so we respond to a lot of lightning events, homes and businesses uh, that have been struck by lightning, wildfires, things of that nature. We've gone as far as to install lightning detection and warning equipment at all of our city parks to alert our residents when they're recreating at these locations that a danger is imminent. And then we look at more severe weather related disasters, tornadoes and hurricanes. And Florida is the third most likely state to encounter tornado activity. The City Council of Oviedo elected in 2007 to invest in a tornado siren warning system for our town. We have 10 sirens strategically located around the community. We test them the first Saturday of each month if weather is permitting. And the only time they're activated other than testing is if a tornado warning is imminent and affects directly the city of Oviedo. Beyond that, our hurricane events, they're seasonal, and we have entered our hurricane season, of course, June through uh, the end of November. We tell folks, don't focus so much on the numbers, but just have a good hurricane preparation plan in place. It's important to have one for your family, so you take into account uh, all the supplies that you think you may need to sustain yourself, from five to seven days. The city has a comprehensive emergency management plan. It addresses all types of, of potential disasters, uh, including acts of terrorism, uh, potential um, uh, chemical or biological type events, uh, any type of medical mass casualty type thing, bird flu, uh, any type of pandemic, all these things are incorporated into our plans. And if you visit the State of Florida Emergency Management website, uh, there are disaster plans and tips that you can uh, incorporate for your home and for your business. Uh, the city maintains a cash reserve uh, of about 15% in our, our accounts, so we don't have to borrow money in the event of a disaster. We have debris contractors in place, so we can begin large-scale cleanup very quickly and very efficiently. But the fact is it takes weeks and sometimes months following a, a severe weather disaster to, to fully recover. And we appreciate the patience of our community as, as we're working our way through that. We send out press releases. Uh, we'll post things on our website. That's another great resource if you visit the city's website. And the uh, fire department homepage on that site is just full of fire safety and emergency management disaster information.